Hey guys, welcome back to another Shorty's Games video. Today we are playing American Truck Simulator. This is episode 4 of our series of Hauling Ass. Today we are heading from San Francisco to Bakersfield. On board we have some home accessories. Now for those of you who have seen our previous videos, we're having a little bit of difficulty with the police. We're having a little bit of difficulty controlling our speed. So hopefully we don't have any issues today. We can't afford to take another fine. We only have $5,360 in the bank. Now considering this is actually our fourth run, that is pretty poor. So hopefully today is going to go smoothly. We're not going to pick up any penalties and we can make a little bit of profit on this one. Now we don't have much luck in San Francisco. We have picked up a few fines uh, at traffic lights. So hopefully today will run a bit smoother. And I didn't really look left properly, did I? I'm not sure. Am I going to make it? Am I cri I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. So we're literally 30 seconds into the journey and we've picked up yet another fine. So from now on, we are going to have to take things very steady. We're going to have to keep an eye on our speed and the problem is when you keep an eye on a speed you go the wrong way which I've just done I've gone the wrong way so now I'm gonna have to turn around I tell you San Francisco is a nightmare for me so I should be able to swing I'll swing it around in here there's nothing behind is there no police about love the job oh saying that there's a police car well, I seem to have got away with that one. He doesn't mind me mounting the curves and running the pedestrians over. It's just crossing the white lines by a couple of inches at traffic lights they don't like. So we should have gone left here. And the lights are in our favour. Thank you very much. Now I've had to uh, tweak my brakes as I mentioned in a previous video. I was finding uh, as I come down the hills I wasn't stopping in time which is why I picked up my first fine crossing the white lines uh, policeman was sitting there so I've adjusted them I've made them a little bit more sensitive so I'm stopping a lot better I thought by copying my European truck simulator uh, settings across it would be exactly the same in American truck but it seems there is a slight difference but we've got over that maybe it's just me maybe I just feel it's different and it isn't it's all in the mind so don't hold me to it, but I had a little bit of a play around with my settings once I uh, copied them over. So we're going left here. Lots of Winnebago's in this game. Wouldn't mind one of them myself. Now I actually know San Francisco pretty well now. I must have driven around here three or four times. I know it like the back of my hand. So it's not going to take us long to get out of here. A very nice city. Now we're away from the uh, the up and down roads, which is, they were <laughs> the roads that were giving me aggro and causing me a lot of grief and money. Uh, so hopefully we can get out of here. Hit the highway. Shouldn't take us too long. Another quick job. Now I'm hoping that it's actually. I mean, what time are we looking at here? We are quite early in the morning, so it should start brightening up soon. Uh, the last few videos I've done have all been at night. I haven't really been able to take in all the surroundings and make the most of the scenery and sort of see what's new in the game because it's been too dark. So hopefully this video we can find a little bit more out. I think there's a little bit of a coastal path in this one and one or two uh, back roads that we have to take which could be interesting because apparently they're very narrow and with a long load some of the corners are a little bit tricky to get around. So we'll see what they're like. Now, I seem to be struggling up these hills. That lorry seems to be pulling away a lot quicker than me. And I've only got home accessories on the back. It's not that heavy. But I am struggling a bit to get up here. start to flatten out now, should be okay. Pick up a bit of speed on the way up. 
Let's go and catch that lorry up. Now this, I believe, is where we come out along the coast. Been here a few times. It's a nice little garage. I don't know if you can use that. Might be a some rest area. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a rest area there. I don't know if there are clouds in the distance or not, because they were there when I came last time. I thought in the distance there they were clouds, but are they? Because they're in exactly the same place that they are. This is a nice little run, isn't it? It'd be lovely coming along here uh, during daylight hours. Now, American Truck Simulator has been out for about two weeks now. So, as you can see, I'm only I think I'm level four, so I haven't <laughs> haven't levelled up much. So, I haven't had any high value cargo or, or anything like that yet. So, let me know in the comments what I've got to look forward to, and let me know if you're enjoying the game. I'm sure most of you are. If you're into American Truck Simulator, I'm sure you're absolutely loving this. And if you're new to it, let me know what you think about it. You know, it's definitely. For me, I think it's, a, it's an improvement on American trucks, um, on European truck simulator. It just feels, uh, feel, I don't know, it just feels brighter and a lot more finished, if you know what I mean. Now, we're turning left here, but this to me looks like it's some sort of track. Is it actually a road? It doesn't, doesn't look great, does it? Well, it says this is the way to go, so that's the way I'm going to go now I have seen a few of the old uh, American horror films where you end up going down these back roads you take one wrong turn and you know you face with a lot of cannibals so we're going to keep our eyes out in this hopefully I haven't got one of those dodgy sat navs oh, there is there is civilization out here I just hope nothing comes the other way because there isn't really much room for me to get over. Especially with these uh, concrete barriers down one side. I love the way the light comes through the trees in this game. And the, uh, the shadowing you get. Okay, let's hope nothing comes down around here because I do have a bit of an issue with uh, pulling away on hills, as some of you may have already noticed in previous videos. I mean, look at the, the background in the distance. Looks absolutely amazing. I am running this on uh, Ultra Graphics. But I'm sure it looks just as good in a lower setting but this is a lovely road to drive across, very windy I wonder how far, I don't actually know how far off road you can go, if I was to you know, turn left now, how far I'd actually get down that bank I'm sure I wouldn't get too far because it's really not that sort of game is it We have a sign. Ah, oh, rest stop. Rest stop in the middle of nowhere. Watch out for the bears. Okay, there's wildlife. Uh, I don't think wildlife actually runs out in front of you in this game. The tumbleweeds come out across the road. I haven't experienced them yet, but I've heard about them. But I haven't heard about any animals that run out in front of you. That little that was a sign to say look out for deer. So we'll keep an eye out for them. But luckily we haven't come across any other vehicles yet. And I don't believe there's anything following us. A 
but according to the sat nav we are nearly out of this part it's going to start opening up again now but you didn't get roads like this in a European truck it's a nice little touch okay Been coming yet, yeah, please, car officer. Is he gonna let me go? He is, thank you very much. He knows a busy man when he sees one, he knows I haven't got time to hang around. I do get worried sometimes when approaching these uh, junctions like that, crossroads, that the vehicles are just going to pull out in front. I still haven't completely mastered the, uh, the road set out in America. What that looks like? Some sort of that restaurant there on the right? Very nice. starting to rain now I did turn my weather uh, rain setting up a little bit I didn't want it to be dry all the time I do like to have a little bit of rain a bit of realism make it a little bit more like England but it looks like this is just going to be a quick shower doesn't look like it's going to be anything too heavy it'll probably dry quickly as well on these temperatures yeah, I thought I nearly missed the junction again then too busy uh, looking at the clouds it's one of those nasty little slit roads. I do not like these at all. Alright, he's gone past. I'm going to have a quick look. I'm going for it, mate. I'm sorry. He wasn't going to stop, was he? You can go. Oh, I'm coming now. Quite nice. The emergency services actually stop and let you out. Anything's more worried about me ploughing into the side of him. The cars aren't that much different, are they, to a European truck? They se still seem to be the same sort of cars. You, you know, you do get an American classic in this, and you've got the, the Winnebago's. I call them Winnebago's. Is that what they're called? Or camper vans, as we call them over here. I don't know where I got Winnebago's from. It could be something completely different. Might look like a Corvette going past there. It was top down in the rain. I think you might get a little bit wet. I thought the highways would be a, a bit wider than this. I mean, we're only two lanes. I thought there'd be, you know, three or four. I'm not sure how big they go in America. I'm, you know, I've only gone, I'm only going by what I've seen on the telly. Never driven over there. I've been over there once when I was younger, but I don't remember it very well. So what we do? We're going straight on here. We shouldn't be far away from our destination now. I thought it was going to be a quick shower. I'm doing a lot better on this journey than I have in previous. So far we've only picked up one fine. And this is where I might struggle. If I have to stop on the hill, I may. Yep, see I'm rolling backwards. Every time I roll backwards. That's it. I don't really want to have to put the brake on. Like that. But uh, as I've said before, I am actually playing in automatic. I, you know, I didn't think that driving in automatic would mean that I'd roll backwards. Especially seeing as it's a diesel lorry. I know we've got a bit of weight behind it, but I would imagine it would have been able to hold its own. As I'll raise, raise hamburgers if you get hungry.
be nice if we actually had a bit of dirt in the game. You know, a bit of a, a messy window screen and you have to wash your wash your lorry off every now and then. Put a couple of uh, truck washes in, just pull in, give it a clean off, or even you know, use your wipers to clean your window screen off. That'd be quite nice. Maybe someone would come up with that. I'm sure there'd be a mod out for it at some point. So we're now approaching our destination. Uh, so far, I've done one easy parking and two difficult. Now, I struggled on the last difficult, so we'll have a, have a look, see just how bad the difficult is this time round. Maybe we'll go for easy again, because I did struggle quite a bit. It took me like about seven minutes to actually park, and it was quite a simple parking space. It was just because of you know, literally reversing, but I managed to balls it up completely. So let's... Uh, find out just how bad they are in. This is like some sort of dockyard, is it? It can't be. I don't think we're near the sea. I haven't seen any sea about, so maybe it's not just some sort of storage area. Containers. Right. Is security about? No security today. Bakersfield discovered. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the options. Right. Oh, that's all right. Thing is, you think it's going to be easy, but they always throw in a bit of a curveball. I mean, it's right in front of me, but I can't. Yeah. Okay. So it's not a simple uh, pull forward and reverse. There is actually this post in the way. That I'm going to have to try and get around. So I may have to change my camera angles. We'll see how we go. See, I can see the parking space now, but when I... Just missed that post. So I can just about make out the parking space now. Let's see how it goes. I may change my camera angles because I'm going to have to get close to the post. Am I? Yeah, I think I'm a lot. Maybe I'm not. It's going to feel closer than I actually am when I get up to that post. Yes, it swing the other way. This is too simple. I'm making too good a job of this. All right, it's going to get hard. I'm going to mess up somewhere. So it looks like I'm heading for that other lorry. So I'm going to pull forward a bit, change my angle slightly. I'm not going too far. I don't think I needed to come back this far. Slow and steady. I think I was actually closer before I pulled forward. I'm making a right cock up of this. If I don't do it this time, we might have to change this to an adult rating because it could get get a bit blue. Slow and steady. That's it. Alright, now hide the other way. Oh, come, on. come on. Get around. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Again. God, I'm terrible. I don't want to just leave it. I always would never learn. Right, 10th time lucky. Here we go. If it goes green, I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to have to pull forward one more. Yeah, one more attempt, isn't it? Yeah. Now I have to apologise if I go silent. It's because I'm I'm concentrating. <laughs> I try to focus so much on getting this in. I'm just making, I'm making it look harder than it actually is. This is one part of my game I really have to practice at. 
it was easier in a European truck because you could just choose to leave it. But I'm determined not to do that in this. I want to get it in. Yeah, parking the lower route, parking your load is half the fun in this game. But I don't, I don't, that might, I might get away with that. I'm not completely in, but hopefully a bit, a little bit forgiven. Okay, so I'm in there. I'm going to pull forward slightly, just to get, I do, I do, good enough. Okay guys, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment, if you enjoyed subscribe, there will be plenty more videos like this, and uh, hope to see you in the future.